Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. This is Mona Hotel, a do not disturb, make up room, και an X information display from EAE Technology. The display is customizable with Hotel's logo and RGB LED. There is of course customizable room number with RGB LED, doorbell touch button with occupancy RGB LED indicator. As you can see, now doorbell is in silence mode. For example, you can connect occupancy indicator with room's card switch. So, if I insert the card into the card switch, the occupancy LED will turn on, indicating that there is someone in the room. Now doorbell is not anymore in silence mode. This is the Do Not Disturb indicator with RGB LED. And this is the Makeup Room indicator with RGB LED. What I really like is that Do Not Disturb and Makeup Room cannot be turned on at the same time. If you press the Do Not Disturb button, and then you press the Makeup Room button, do not disturb LED is turned off automatically. As you can see, doorbell is not in silence mode. However, if do not disturb indicator is active, the doorbell will be muted. As you press the doorbell button, the do not disturb indicator will flash indicating that Do Not Disturb feature is enabled. Of course, if I deactivate the Do Not Disturb feature, the doorbell will become audible. The Makeup Room feature cannot mute the doorbell. Before I proceed with the installation and programming of the KNX display, let me introduce you to the Hotel app. Poseidon Tech has developed this cloud-based solution that provides an effortless way to manage your hotel's restaurants, bars and amenities. With Hotel App, your guests can call the hotel reception, send emails, connect to the hotel's Wi-Fi and access hotel amenities through a single button on their mobile app. Mona Do Not Disturb Makeup Room Display comes in this box. Inside the box you will find The Do Not Disturb Makeup Room Display. The display has a glass surface and it looks really nice. There are four magnets located at the back of the device that are used to attach the display to its mounting plate. This is the KNX connector and this is the power supply connector. Mona Display requires an additional power source of 4 to 30 volts DC. This is the KNX programming button and the programming LED. It includes hotel logo, room number, occupancy indicator with doorbell touch button, do not disturb and makeup room indicators. Inside the box there are also mounting screws, 
installation guide. And the metal mounting plate. The display looks to be securely mounted in place. Let's proceed with the installation now. I will use the included mounting screws to attach the mounting plate on the junction box. Before connecting the display, let me explain the device I'm using for this demo. This is a 4-channel KNX binary input from Vineshell that I will use to connect this card switch from Vimar. Every time that the card is inside, the card switch, it will activate the occupancy indicator of the Mona display. This is a KNX power supply from Minwell. This is a 1 output 230 volts dimmer from Vineshell, but it can be used also as a one channel switching actuator to control this doorbell from Vimar. And this is a KNX switch from Vimar with do not disturb button and make up room button. The connections that are required for the display to function are the KNX bus and additional power 4 to 30 volts DC that will be supplied from the additional auxiliary output of my KNX power supply. So, I will connect the KNX connector and the power supply connector. The display is attached to the mounting plate with the magnets. We are now ready for programming. In ETS6, I have created the Poseidon Tech Hotel project. By the way, in ETS6, I really like the new project view. In my hotel, there is only one room. So, please support Poseidon Tech by subscribing to our channel, liking and sharing our videos in order to help us grow further. Inside the room, I have added the electrical cabinet with the KNX power supply, KNX binary input, KNX switching actuator, and the KNX switch for do not disturb and clean up room features. I have also created the relevant group addresses for my project. Here we have Doorbell group address and its status, Presence group address and its status, Do not disturb group address and its status, and Make up room group address and its status. In KNX binary input, I set up input 1 as switch on off output for my card switch and link the output to the presence group address. So, when I insert the card into the card switch, the presence group address will be sent with the value switch on. And when I remove the card from the card switch, the presence group address will be sent with value switch off. In KNX switching actuator, I link the switch output with my doorbell group address and the state output with the doorbell status group address. In my KNX switch, I set up the left buttons as toggle switches and link the Do Not Disturb group address with the left upper key and the Make Up Room group address with the left lower key. I also linked the status group addresses with the status objects. For the Do Not Disturb feature, I select the red color when the feature is enabled and for the Makeup Room feature, I select the green color. If you want to learn more about the KNX switch from Vimar, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description. It's time now to add the Mona display. 
Open catalogs. Search for EAE. Add Do Not Disturb Makeup Room device. Let's check first the parameters. Here you can change the hotel's logo LED color and the room number LED color. The available options are LED off, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, and white. I will leave both colors white. From Bell tab, you can choose between two button modes. The first mode is Normal On-Off, where the Touch button sends On value when it is touched and an Off value when it is released. The second mode is Timing for Operation, where the Touch button sends a switch On value when it is touched and automatically sends the Off value after a set amount of time, which can be selected from 1 to 30 seconds in the Bell Time setting. I will choose the first mode. The other settings are referring to Presence LED indicator where you can select the No Presence and Presence LED color. The color options are the same as the logo and room colors. I will leave the default choices. If there is no presence, the LED will be off and when there is a presence indication, the LED will be blue. The Do Not Disturb Makeup Room tab includes an option for a enumerated object that when enabled, activates an additional object for changing modes between normal, do not disturb and make up room states using a one byte object. For this demo, I will disable this object. The other options are for changing colors for on and off for do not disturb and make up room. The color options are the same as in the previous steps. The default choices of red in Do Not Disturb and green in Makeup Room are fine for me. You can order the Mona display with an optional third indicator that is described in the parameters as laundry. But since the display is customizable, you can select any indicator you prefer. I ordered my Mona display without the third indicator, so I will leave it off. The last parameter refers to relay outputs that are for another version of Mona Display with relay outputs. Mine does not have any outputs, so I will disable both of them. These were all the parameters. I have to admit that I really like the configuration. It was simple, and the fact that the necessary automations like that the Do Not Disturb and Make Up Room cannot be enabled at the same time, or that the Touch button is disabled when Do Not Disturb feature is active or when Presence Indicator is inactive are built in, it makes me more happy. Everything that I demonstrated you at the beginning of the video was done using the default parameters. The next step is to link the group objects with the relevant group addresses. Final step is to perform a full download. Mona KNX display is ready. Overall, I like the quality of the product and the fact that it's fully customizable. The engraving of my logo looks very well and even if all indicators can be custom made, I like the default ones. Monek and X Display have two versions, one for indoor use and one for outdoor use. My panel is for outdoor use and that is why there is a rubber seal between the glass and the enclosure that gives in the device IP65 rating. If you want to learn more about Mona Display, visit eaetechnology.com. 
click on product families, select Mona, and from the not disturb makeup room information display, click for more information. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.